All right, it is 9.41 a.m. I have one tray would be EVI, but actually, no, it's B-I-E-I. And uh, it just seems kind of iffy. It just seems like a trap. Anyway, this thing is up over the past two days, and then this one was not so strong. But I like how we were having this uptrend, and then it was trying to break above 53, and it wasn't able to, and then it gets under VWAP, and then we wipe out a whole bunch of sellers throughout this entire um price action i wasn't interested in trading it because there were a lot of big sellers at the ask so when it had a sell off right here with a whole bunch of volume i thought maybe this wiped out a whole bunch of sellers and now i can actually start the uptrend which is why at 939 it bought 20,000 shares at 51 this is a 50 dollar risk goal because it is a sub penny and this is the first time i'm really trading a $50 risk level or at least um, half of whatever my current dollar risk level is because it's a sub penny and they just don't really seem to work out that nicely and I was in it and all but then I kind of saw this thing where um, I, the main thing I was interested in was that there were a whole bunch of bidders at 50 and then for a brief moment when I'm in the setup all those big sellers um, you know were gone and all but the big people at the bid at 50 they were kind of gone too so it just seems like a trap where you're in the setup, you see a lot of support at the bid, and then it uptrends a little, and then the big sellers are still there, and then all the bidders that you saw at the bid that got you in the setup, now they're all gone, and now it's going to downturn again and fall off a cliff. And that's why it got out very quickly, the same minute. Apparently at 52, it seems like it might have been a sell at 52, not 51 and a half, which usually would round up. So yeah, that was just a quick in and out, in right here and out right here. And it did get a bit higher. It did break this level um, and get to 54. But as you can see, there's still big sellers at the ask. So I want to see what it can do over a longer period of time. And the volume also looks like that is drying up. So that's not really ideal for a setup to break out. There isn't really anything else that I'm interested in. This one looks like spaghetti. Uh, this one isn't doing anything um, super nice, at least compared to BIEI. Nothing with um, GTII. Nothing with this one and nothing with this one. I'll make an update later, but the market seemed kind of dry right now in terms of setup, so I'll just keep watching this one, but yeah, maybe uh, this is going to be a day with not many setups. All right, it is 7.25 p.m. and I'm here to call it off. Overall, I'm going to be up on a day uh, just $2 with that one trade with um, BIEI, and in theory, the setup did work out. This was at the time a potential third green day, so a nice first green day, second day, and then the third one as well. And the volume was also there. Had that bit of a uptrend, I guess. Uh, let me just confirm. The close was 48, and then we open at 48. So, yeah, around the same level, although there was a sell-off right here, and then, you know, it uptrended a little bit, and then it had another sell-off with more volume, and I thought... You know, um, it wasn't really able to get above this level at 53 because there were a lot of sellers at the ask. But then I thought when it had this drop under VWAP and it just ended up being a wick to it and, um, you know, just stayed there in the bottom. Lots of volume. I thought it was going to wipe out a lot of sellers. And in theory, it did do that. It did wipe out a lot of sellers. There were still some big sellers, but not as many. And I just got in and out of the setup because I didn't like... The price action but this is just one of those type of trades where if i just stuck to my risk level which probably would have been this level breaking this 48 level it would have been that thing where you know it had a little uptrend here right and it downtrended but it never broke under vwap again and it did get as high as a 57 and this would have been a point where maybe i could have had some kind of a trend line like right here and then i would have been holding on to the position and then officially out when it breaks it so maybe a sell at 55 and then that would have been a lot more profitable and that would have been a realistic reason to get out of the trade rather than just you know not being too comfortable with the price action so i think i can get better in that sense but i'm so happy that i traded it at least i didn't just hesitate on the set of her being chicken or something and i think that was pretty much it i don't see anything here with any of these other ltcs nothing really there nothing really here that i like um this one just kind of moves a lot nothing really as good as it was yesterday but you know maybe this thing can't continue to be um a bull flag and do some kind of a breakout setup 
over 25 and that could be something impressive and uh, this one didn't really do much either but I do regret not doing this one CYDY did have a sell-off and it didn't have considerable volume right here in the middle of the day um, I don't know if I you know would have traded it profitably or not but it does look like a midday panic bounce setup and you know I would have liked to have at least been a part of it even if I lost money because this is something that I could have traded realistically and the volume was there so it didn't just work but the volume was there so it could have been something I could have um, again made money from or maybe lost money but at least um, gained experience so that's pretty much it for uh, today I should probably need to stop selling setups one minute after my entry or in this case in the same minute unless I'm cutting the trade for a loss because it just absolutely failed as soon as I got in and I think that can help me be more profitable that's all I got